nature, benevolent goddess, or furious harridan? What are the fiery secrets that she hides within her folds and crevices? Today we attempt to find out, as the Digitizer Lab presents, Volcanoes, nature's biggest swords. Volcanoes! Welcome back to the Digitizer Lab. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? How volcanoes work? You're probably watching this, some of you, wondering where's all the video game content gone. I am. Yeah, well, you know what? When uh, you do your own YouTube channel, why don't you just make it really dull and just about nothing but video games? Oh, right. Mm, I have a ZX Spectrum. I'm going to mod and see if I can get Doom 3 running upon it. Oh, no. I'm going to brush some fluff out of the keys on oh. a Commodore 64. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh. I'm, I'm going to make a top 10 list of pc run games based on children's properties. Here, here's a list of five Amstrad games that ran better on the green screen version of the the monitor than the colour one. And I'll be showing you how to get a GameShark working on a PS2. And I'm going to show you how to open your bedroom window and get some fresh air. And I'll be telling you how to kiss a girl. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know. That'd be a good science experiment. Oh, God. Apologies to all of our viewers and the entire YouTube retro gaming community. <laughs> <laughs> it went up me nose. We're awful people. No, bottom line is... It just bores us going on about the bloody video games all the time. It's expensive. And it's expensive. I can't keep buying crap, so... So we're just going to do this instead. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's just a, when we do Series 2 that we'll do a Kickstarter for, we'll go back to All doing games. more game stuff, All okay? Games. But, um, for you now. know, weekly-wise, we're just mixing it up a bit. So um, It's pop culture, ephemera, arts and sciences, digitizer, the internet. What? Digitizer the internet. Digitize of the internet. Yeah, I'm going to make it catch on, put a t-shirt. Oh, what Digitize of the internet. Digit- oh, I, well, I don't really understand. I don't know. Anyway, Christ. yeah, so we're just going to do whatever that takes our fancy because, um, anyway, series two, video game stuff. So, Digi No Lab, volcano, science experiment like they do in that there America. Which is just a thing that doesn't really happen over here. We have no. science lab uh, test fairs. Now, <laughs> do we? Science lab test fairs. Science lab test fairs and... But there's, I don't know, I don't get it. I mean, in America, I presume they have to make the whole thing in like when they do a volcano. Paper mache, paper. don't they? Whereas this one is like, it even says on the box, doesn't it? Plastic. It says giant 11 foot tall model with detailed cross section interior. 11 foot. Yeah. Is it? That's what right. it says, 11 Look, foot. It's quite good. I'll turn this around. It's got the cross section, which shows you all the parts of a volcano, such as the seal. The vent, the strata, Ooh. the conduit, the dike, um, apologies, is no, what it says. The word. It's okay, fine. I know, but someone's going to go, oh, the dike, he's like, you know. No, it's fine, just say Well, the yeah, word. because every time I mention either the colours black or white, Larry goes, oh, racist. That's because Larry's got a knee jerk response to being an edgelord. It's fine. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so now we've alienated some of our own... Um, Channel Sarah members. smells of eggs. <laughs> She's an egg lord. And I've got so much smegma down there. Smeg lord. Smeg lord. And you've got a death wish, judging by all the videos we ever make. Volcanoes. I've seen two volcanoes in real life. Have you? you? Know, I've been up to. Uh, I have been up Vesuvius, which is in the uh, the one that blew up Pompeii. Oh. Uh, oh, didn't blow it up, did Vesu- it? Vesuvius. Pow. Um, that was good. Yeah. Uh, and had what, a fa- then, what, what, Pompeii, no. everyone dying? That was good. That wasn't good. That was a shame, but it was a long time ago. Um, oh, so it doesn't matter because it was a long time ago. I don't know any of them. Uh, right. A very funny thing happened on the way up. <laughs> 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 yeah. It really did. Uh, as we were going up, there was a man um, handing out sticks for people to walk up the mountain. Okay, yeah. And on the way back down, he went insane because, as it turns out, these sticks weren't free. <laughs> People thought he was giving them out for free, but he expected money. And um, he was shouting at people, going, ah, tip for sake, tip for sake, whatever that means. Uh, and, yeah, uh, and he was snatching them off people, and there were people well, they were like, just what do you want? Tip, off the ground. tip for sake, tip for sake. No, like proper wooden sticks. Like nice sticks? Or, or just stuff sticks. he found on the floor, and he just 
tidied up. I don't know. Yeah, basically they weren't like kind of like you know proper walking sticks. But, you know, so the, hence people thought, oh, okay, he's employed by the owners of the mountain. Who uh, owns the mountain? I don't know, John Pompey. John Pompey, I want you to give out sticks. So oh, I've been up that you, one. Lord. I've been up Etna. And the funny thing about Etna, which I'll drop a photo in in a moment, is I went up to the top of it. It's all yeah. oh, this is very good and impressive. Um, and someone had <laughs> made a, um, a large penis out of a load of stones on the ground, <laughs> like huge, all that way. Yeah, uh, it's like. It's great that though, because it's like you know, cavemen in the time would put draw penises on the walls, yeah, and toilets, and it, you know, toilets. I didn't have toilets. No, now we do. We draw them on the toilet walls and stuff, and we say for a good time, call Paul Garano. Okay, is that your number? No, I'm blanking it out because it'll be someone's number because someone will call it. Then, but they might have a good time. Someone, someone will call it and go, "You digitise on YouTube is such a wasted opportunity." Oh God, you should not read the comments. They really stick with you, don't they? That one did. Is that why? Tell me. What a prick. <laughs> you don't like constructive feedback. That's your problem. Yeah. Constru- that's constructive, is it? Yeah. You didn't shit. tell me what we should do or shouldn't do, just that we shouldn't waste the opportunity that we've been given. No, but he had a letter written in every week. Yeah, that's what he said. Do you, that, you reckon that's what the waste opportunity was? No letters from him? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Write us a letter. Write we'll, us a letter. We'll, we'll, why don't you write us a letter and we'll do a video all about it? Stamped envelope. Where to? To uh, Well, just an email then. You... <laughs> Ghastly, send us fetid a, prick. a letter in an email, <laughs> somehow. I'm I'm gunning for people now. I'm done after all the bloody comments on the fart video. <laughs> it's really. I, I should be the one who's upset, but I'm not. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm Look, done with if it. people the... really want an unfiltered <laughs> Ghostbusters experience with me, Paul Cannon, I can do it on my own channels. Follow me there. This is for larks and silliness. Do you think I'd really care about the content of this channel if I didn't fear for my life every time we start an episode? (laughs) Right, let's do the volcano experiment. Right. Here we go. So, we need... I'll let you do it, and I'll film it, and I'll I'll read out Talk talk me through it. Right, Right. so, here we go. Video, uh, film. Right. Baking soda. I I need to put the volcano together. No, you don't need to put it together, ideally. Because you don't have to. It's just for show. All right, put it together. I want the volcano experience. I'm so farty today. I'm going to put them all in. Don't do another one. I'm trying to hold them in. Right, there. There we go. So there we go. We've got our lovely, lovely... uh, Our Volk. Our Volk. (laughs) We should give it a name. Uh, um, Volcanus. Mount, Mount, <laughs> what about Mount Digi? <laughs> you, you found that very amusing, didn't you? Right, yes. here we go. Make sure the volcano is in the clear tray before performing the eruption. Oh, it is. It's in the clear tray. Tap, tap, there we tap. go. Add the baking soda to the lava tube. And that, if you're following at home, is one half tablespoon of baking soda. Go on, stick it all in. I'm trying, but I'm trying to just get it round the rim. Well, mm. yeah. Mm. Right. Mix the vinegar, food colouring, and dish soap together thoroughly. So you're gonna have to mix that before you add it to the to the, the top of the mile. <laughs> this channel's gone to the dogs. Right. Well, so, is this the vinegar? Yeah. So oh. mix the food colouring. So you want to put four or five drops in the vinegar. Oh, oh God. that is not, you know, <laughs> bloody idiot. And then the dish soap. <laughs> you need to put about, um, maybe about four or five squirts in. Oh. <laughs> I like the sounds. Yeah, yeah right. hold it up towards it. You don't have to do that. I don't. All right, that's probably enough. Right, oh ready? God. Yeah. Now it says blood. mix the solution thoroughly. Add the liquid solution to the lava tube. Stand back and watch Have the lava. Have we got something better? I can mix it with my pasta pipette. There's another little pap, the little stick. There you go, love. All right, hang on. I could do this. I need a. I need a funnel. We've got a funnel, haven't we? In the other side kit. You can pour it in. I'll get it all down the sides. Yo, it's a volcano. Where's it gonna go? I want it to come out in a natural fashion. What, by putting a funnel yeah, on the mountain? Go. Right, ready? Yeah, you got to pull out quick, though. Otherwise, it'll foam too instantly. Yeah, yeah. Right, pull oh, it out. Oh, volcano! Oh, volcano! Oh, oh, volcano! See oh, oh. volcanoes blow. <laughs> Is that it? Is that literally That's all it. it does? That's really disappointing. 
God, and it, it stinks. stinks. Jesus, I hate the smell of vinegar. Unless I'm eating chips. It, it's, that's it. That's so poor. I told you. I thought it would be more, I don't know. Explode Better. <laughs> Every way. <laughs> this is the trouble. Uh, if When people don't listen to me, if I had put more bicarbonate of soda in there, that would have foamed up big time. You cleaning out the tube now. Yeah, if we if you'd put more in, we'd be this be a wash. Well, that's okay, but with what foam and vinegar and stinky stink, and this cleans it out. Should I go on then? Oh, oh. eat it. Turned it into a lollipop. Oh. <laughs> Science. Did you know? God, it always comes back to thrusting and things. I'm just trying to get you. the thing out the tube before it gets oh, foamy all over grasp the place. It. Pill. There we, there we are. Now lick. They'll be all right because it's only. I don't care. It's vinegar, in it. Look at that. What a mess. Now, what did you learn from this experiment? Uh, hey, what have you learned? Well, that if you insult your your viewers, you lose some <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> if you call someone a fetid prick on your channel, yeah. And what about that, what the people then comment going, "Oh, Mr. Biffo doesn't like it when um, people leave nasty and, comments." And what about all the old insulting, insulting the whole YouTube community and your co-hosts? That so. alienates us from our right. um, peers. So no one's going to come back for series two. It's just be us. On a big set. But at least we'll be talking about video games, eh, everyone? And that's all yeah, that matters. that's all that matters. Not having any fun at all and not making any jokes. No, we'll have no anything. silliness. It'll just be me and him, dry. Yeah, reeling off Wikipedia articles about yeah. old games. <laughs> Did you know the 3DO was invented by electronic arts by a man called Albert Fish. Wow! And did you know that the Atari Lynx is approximately 12.5 inches long? Did you know that the Nintendo Game Boy can cook an egg? Did you know that Jesus Christ had never played a video game? Did you know Hitler's favourite game?